Hey guys, Neely here, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing in my Instant Pot today. I um, have never tried doing a whole chicken in the Instant Pot, but a lot of people talk about how amazing it is, so I figured I'd give it a try today and video it for you guys so you see how it turns out. I will put a link down below in the description to the recipe I used. I just found a recipe online, and um, we'll see how it works. The first part is uh, putting it in the Instant Pot on saute mode. I got my oil in there hot already and I'm just gonna sprinkle it with the salt and then put it in the saute to brown the skin on the breast for a little while um, and then you flip it over and add some liquid and then that's when you turn on the pressure. Okay, I just flipped it over and I'm about to add the liquid. I added all the spices to the top. I had some sprigs of uh, thyme and rosemary from my garden, so I threw those inside the cavity. I have a few um, garlic cloves inside the cavity and a couple more scattered around here. And um, I'm about to put the one and a half cups of liquid in. And then I will um, close it up and I'm going to add a few minutes um, to what the recipe says because my chicken was still a little bit frozen and it's a little bit bigger of a chicken than the recipe called for. The recipe called for a four pound and mine is about a little over four and a half pounds. So it says to cook for 25 minutes. I think I'll go ahead and put it on for 30 and see how it turns out. Okay, so it cooked for about 30 minutes. It came up to pressure, then it started counting down 30 minutes and then it went to the keep warm mode after that was done. And it's been on keep warm mode for 31 minutes and the pressure has released. You can see here the little pressure thingy is down, which means the pressure is released, which means I can open the top, um, no problem. And um, I would have come and gotten it sooner, except I was feeding the baby, and just this is when I got to it. So it's, it probably came down from pressure after about 15 or 20 minutes, um, but I just left it sitting because I wasn't quite ready for it. So I'll go ahead and open it here. There it is. That looks pretty tasty. Smells good. And I'm going to um, pull it out of here. It'll probably fall apart when I pull it out because it's so cooked and tender. Um, but you're supposed to let it sit for about five minutes before carving. All right, so I just tasted some and it is very, very tender, very um, like melt in your mouth tender. And the reason I wanted to try this in the uh, Instant Pot is because we got a two pack of these chickens from Costco and I roasted the first one and it was a little tough and not the best um, for roasting and so I wanted to try it in the Instant Pot and that definitely made a difference. It is so, so tender. Of course when you cook it in the Instant Pot you don't get the crispy skin like you do um, roasting it in the oven and if you want to get that like the tenderness plus the crispy skin you could probably, um, after you cook it in the Instant Pot for maybe a little less time, then put it in the oven to broil and crisp up the crisp, crisp up the skin real good, and then I think it would be perfect. So I might try that next time, but this is very, very good. So two thumbs up. I do two thumbs, but my other thumb is holding the camera. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little recipe video. And like I said, I will put the link down below for um, the recipe that I followed. And I hope you guys try it. Bye.